What is up brawlers, my name is Soy and I absolutely love playing Brawl Stars, especially Brawl Ball. With over 1000 hours playing the game and over 15,000 3v3 victories that mostly comes from Brawl Ball, I believe I have a couple of helpful tips that will definitely make you guys a better player inside Brawl Stars. This week's video is going to be another short one because it is just that simple but it will definitely give you more wins if you know how to do it properly you might have seen the title and yes guys this time i'm gonna give you op tips and tricks on how to auto aim like the pros yes just in case you're one of the people that are poorly misled even the pros do auto aims I see too many people worship aiming skills above everything else. At one point, there was even a movement to remove auto aim from Brawl Stars. To make my case, I'm going to tell you guys about another game that I really love to play, which is PES, formerly known as the Pro Evolution Soccer. Come on, I'm the Brawl Ball guy, of course I love football. So anyway, in PES, you can use the right stick on your controller to do tricks with your player. To put it simply, there are two options on doing this. You can choose the manual option where you can input specific directions on your thumbstick and have total control on what tricks you're going to do. Or you can choose the auto option where you only need to flick the thumbstick on any direction and your player will automatically do some quick tricks based on the situation. Of course, the community already agreed that the manual option is the better option because although it takes more skill to pull off but it's highly rewarding if you manage to do it successfully. As a long time player, of course, I use the manual option, but only until I find a guy on YouTube who's doing tips and tricks for pass, and he's really good at this game. You guessed it guys, he is using the unpopular auto options. Of course, a lot of people was asking for the reason in comments, and he explained with just two killer words it's faster and it's true it doesn't matter how much you train a human body to move the sticks flicking the thumbstick will always be faster than moving it to multiple directions and the same principle goes for brawl stars to manual aim you need to touch the attack button then drag it to the direction of where you want to shoot and finally, you have to lift your thumb from the button before your brawler finally shoots. But with auto aim, you simply tap the button and your brawler shoots. And in Brawl Ball, speed is our friend, guys. You might be really good with your aim, but aiming is actually not necessary on multiple situations. Let's imagine you just hit your opponent with B's super. If that opponent is inside B's range, auto aim will hit. You will land more shots during the duration of B's super slow if you just smash the auto aim button. If you insist on manual aiming in this kind of wrong situation, you will land less shots before B super runs out. You can try swiping faster with your manual aim, but you will risk entirely missing your shot. Another example is point blank interactions when using Shelly. To do maximum damage with Shelly, you need to land all 5 projectiles. If you auto aim, you will land all 5. But if you manual aim, you will be more likely to miss one or two projectiles if not all of them because some opponents will try to run past you and some might succeed. 
Okay, I hope I already convinced you guys that combination of good manual aiming skills complemented by knowledge of how and when to use auto aim is what makes good players good. I'm gonna end this video with a couple of tips and tricks about auto aiming. Let's go over a couple of situations where you can auto aim with good results. First, when opponents are running straight at you. When they do this kind of stuff, you won't miss even with Piper. Of course, you shouldn't do this with some brawlers like the throwers. Second, when you're at point blank range. Many brawlers will do mean damage if you just auto aim from point blank. Even some throwers like Barley can auto aim really well on close range if you combine it with his gadget. Because third is when opponents are slowed. When they are caught in the likes of Barley's first gadget, Spike's super, Shelly's first star power, there are plenty of brawlers who can inflict slow. You can definitely mash your auto aim to get as many attacks before the slow effect runs out. Because these slowing effects usually doesn't last really long in Brawl Stars. There are some other moments when you should use auto aim over manual aiming. But mostly are very situational, so I'm just gonna trust you guys to find them yourself. Lastly, a little bit of tips on how to auto aim and doesn't look like a noob. If you ever watch some Brawl Stars Funny Fails videos, you must have seen those BB players who keeps auto aiming and missing their hits while the opponent just dance around her. When you auto aim on close range interactions, you want to move away from your opponent. So, if the opponent is on your right, you mash auto aim while move to the left. If the opponent is above you, mash auto aim while moving down, and so on. This will work extremely well when you're using brawlers who have delayed attacks such as BB or multiple attacks that takes longer time to execute, such as Primo or Rosa. I'ma close this video by saying that you shouldn't rely on auto-aim as well. Combination of good manual aiming skills complemented with knowledge of how and when to use auto-aim is the thing that will make you a good player. I hope this video helped you guys who just started your journey on Brawl Stars. As for the veterans, don't be shy sharing this video to your rookie friends and families. Your likes and subs are really appreciated by small creators like me. By the way, that last Brawl Talk was pretty weird, huh? Tell me what you think in the comments. And until next one, my name is Soy, signing out.